24 years ago. That was the last time I fished that peg over there. I remember it because it was my birthday. It's an area of Danflas Reservoir that was fabled, if that's the word, to have a, an old quarry in front of it where it drops off to who knows what depths. The reason why I fished there is because that's where it was rumoured that the big and old and very elusive bream lived. I didn't have much success that day. Um, I hooked a couple of fish but lost them over a ledge. Obviously my kit wasn't quite up to scratch and you know I like to think I've learnt a lot since then. So it's 24 years later, I'm in a position where I'm ready to tackle that swim again and that is going to be the project for a video that's going to come on live on this channel in two weeks time. Please subscribe if you don't want to miss that. It's going to be a long video. It's going to involve mapping out the swim, mapping out the area and also mapping out and having a look to see if there are any resident fish there. So this is a little bit of a teaser for you. I'm not going to go over there, I'm going to stand just here and what I'm going to do is show you how I've been mapping out certain areas of this reservoir over the last couple of weeks. The tool is one of those. I haven't been out there yet, as you can see it's still dry. <laughs> That's not been out there. There might not be any fish out there whatsoever. We're on the edge of the bay. I'll show you the bay. It's given that name for obvious reasons. It's a very deep area of the reservoir. I've no idea what to expect. I've got an 11 foot Fox Warrior three pound test curve cart rod really to cast this out. It weighs about four ounce. And I'm gonna get it out there and assuming we can have a nice Wi-Fi signal because we're a little bit remote here, it's a little bit cut off I'm going to get out there and just see if there are any fish out there and I can also show you how deep it is let's get started <laughs> Okay, right, I've just dropped this in the edge just so it can get connected. We connected through the Wi Fi. I've no idea what to expect out there. I don't really know how deep it is. I've not really fished it that much, so it'll answer all those questions. And there might be some fish out there. So, what I'm going to do is just cast out and then I'll hold the screen to you, uh, to the camera so you can see it properly. All right, so I'll just work our way out just to see what happens. Okay, so we'll start at about 10 meters. Okay, so that's gone in. That's telling us it's four meters deep. It's quite a flat bottom there. That's just four meters there. We're not moving it. There's nothing there at the minute. I'll try dragging it back. And you can see the, it starts to come up the slope. See how it's getting shallower and shallower. It hasn't highlighted any fish. <laughs> so let's put it out about 20 meters. We might have picked a spot with no fish in it. <laughs> I'll go out to 20 meters ish. Let's just see if there's anything out there. Plop. Straight away, look, that's gone to seven meters now. Seven meters deep. Ah, look two fish 2.9 meters down so that's in seven in seven meters of water there's a fish there at 2.9 meters down looks like he's on his own as we drag it back a little bit that's one fish I think that's been scanned twice there's nothing else there as we come back further in so let's try it a bit further out Do you like how I even feather it? <laughs> right, that's gone further out. Look, we're straight into eight meters of water now. 8.4 meters. Doesn't look like there's any fish there. It's a flat bottom. 
at the moment, but that's because we're not moving it. I'll try moving it. I'm reeling that back towards us now. Just scanning the bottom. Ah, fish. So that's in seven and a half meters of water. We've just gone past a fish at 5.6 meters. Only single fish, which is interesting. Nowhere near the bottom. I think we know that's the case on these deep venues. 5.6 meters down that one in seven meters. Again, nothing else, so let's have a search somewhere else. Just gonna go a little bit further out before we go left or right. Not sure what range that is, 45 meters maybe. Went to nine meters of water and that's dropped straight on a fish. Two fish, one at five meters, one at 5.3 meters. That's in nine meters, so pretty much half depth. Just bring that back towards me. That's picked up another fish at three and a half meters. That could be the fish from earlier that when we were closer in. So there's a couple of decent fish out there. Just gonna try it to the right first. Let's try it over this way. Different view for you. To the left it goes to a point, so it'll shallow up to my left, but I'll just go to the right, which is right into the bay. The maximum depth we've had so far is 9.1 meters. I think this will be pretty much the same depth. That's about 45 meters again. That's gone down to 10.1 meters fish. See the fish there? That's in 10 meters of water, they're between 8 and 9 meters. Bottom's quite flat there as well, it must level out a little bit. Those fish are deeper, about 2 meters off the bottom generally, I think. I'll bring that back on that line, see if there's any fish closer in. You should see the contours of the bottom start to come back up now. See it sloping now, it's coming sloping, coming back up towards me. Up into four meters of depth, nothing at all, just nothing all that way back. It looks like seven meters is the depth at the moment. I'll have a quick check to the left. This goes round to a bit of a point here, and as you can imagine, it shallows right up here. So I'm not sure if we'll find anything. I think if we do, we'll find anything probably on, on that sort of line. So I'll cast there first. It might be just on the edge of that deeper water where it comes around that slope. About 40 metres that. Well, that's gone into seven metres of water and it's dropped on a fish straight away. That's in 7.2 metres. Fish Closer to the bottom, six and a half meters down. Just reeling that back towards me really slowly. Searching the bottom. I think we'll see it start to shallow up pretty sharpish from where it is now. Yeah, you can see now it's coming up that sharp ledge now. Interesting how, interesting how the fish are at the bottom of that slope. As soon as you get all that slope up to four meters, no fish at all there. Again, six and a half meters. So, we've gone out three different spots and all the fish have been around seven meters. So I hope this Thursday vlog has been a little bit different for you. With one of my new toys, it's a bit of kit that's really going to enhance some of the, uh, some of the videos that you've got coming. That's the area over there that I'm going to be tattling in two weeks' time. Please tune in for that. It's going to be a nice end-to-end -end video covering everything from preparation through scanning the swim. I may pre-bait. I'm not sure yet. If the fish are already there, I won't. It should be a good video to watch. I'm sure we'll all learn something about watercraft and just, just the way that fish feed and how they behave. So 
thanks for watching really appreciate it as always thanks to all the new subscribers and uh, i hope you all have a fantastic weekend see you all next week